हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सॉफ्ट सोर्स क्लासेस टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग द आईआईटी जेम मैथमेटिकल स्टडीज क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ ईयर 2018 टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर 12 इन क्वेश्चन नंबर 12 व्हिच हैज बीन गिवन दैट लेट एफ एंड जी बी टू फंक्शंस व्हिच गोस फ्रॉम आर टू आर एंड आर डिफाइंड बाय एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस कॉस ऑफ एक्स बाय 2 एंड जी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स साइन एक्स बाय 2 देन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जी ऑफ एक्स फॉर मोर देन टू वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स f of x is not equal to g of x for all x in r f of x is equal to g of x for exactly one value of x and f of x is equal to g of x for exactly two values of x so what this is what we've been given so we've been given that f of x f of x is equal to x square minus cos of x by 2 and g of x is equal to x sin of x By two, let h of x be given by f of x minus g of x. So this will give us x square minus cos of x by two minus x sine x by two. So what we'll try to do now we'll differentiate it. H dash x. So h dash x will give us twice of x, twice of x minus that will give us sine of x by two minus sine of x by two minus x cos x by two, and ultimately this will give us twice of x minus x cos x by two. So if we take x common, this will give us two minus cos of x by two. Now for maxima and minima, or for for h dash x equal to zero, this implies that x into two minus cos of x by two is equal to zero. Therefore, either x is equal to zero. Or two minus cos x by two is equal to zero, and that will imply that cos of x is equal to four, which is not possible, since cos x lies between minus one and one. So the only option is that x equal to zero, or we can say that h dash zero is equal to zero. So what we can say that x equal to zero is a root of h dash x equal to zero. Now we know that between any two roots of h, uh, any two roots of a polynomial lies the root of the derivative of that polynomial. This is what we know. So x equal to zero. Lies between two roots of the h x equal to zero. So that means that there are at least, therefore, there are at least two roots of h of x equal to zero. That means h of x equal to zero means f of x minus g of x is equal to zero for at least two roots. Now we can write for at least two values. That will imply that f of x is equal to g of x for at least two values. So as you can see, this is the option. This is option D. So the option D is the correct option. Since we are getting only one root of h of h of x, so basically there is not at least two roots. There are only two roots. There are only. We can scrub out this portion. Had there been multiple root, there are only 
two roots and we can similarly take out this portion this will be also only and here also we can definitely take out at least and how here also it will be for only two so this is option D so today we have solved question number 12 from the IIT Jam mathematical statistics question paper of year 2018 we will be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos till then keep watching sources classes videos for more solutions and content thank you very much